Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Purpose Summit. I'm so excited that you're here listening because I know this means you are a conscious individual and you are on purpose in your own life, or you want to be more on purpose and you want to live more intentionally. And I'm so happy that you're here because these women, these interviews that are you're going to be listening to, they will help. So I'm happy that you're here. I'm Sue Erda. I'm the host for this event, and I'm also one of the publishers at Powerful You Publishing. And I'm truly honored to be able to introduce these women to you. And right now, I'm so happy to talk to with Michelle Pessinen. She is a really an amazing woman. You'll see that when you talk to her. I'm going to read a brief introduction, and then we'll hear from her. Michelle Pessinen is a writer, speaker, and light worker who is passionate about self-mastery, personal growth, and empowering others to live their best life and leave a legacy of pure positive impact. She is a certified professional coach, energy leadership master practitioner, and the creator of the Heal, Manifest, Flourish signature system. Michelle loves to bring a divine spiritual essence to her coaching and she combines alternative modalities such as NLP, emotional release, touch for health, dream sculpting, timeline, and angel guidance, which enhances her traditional coaching practices. And Michelle, that sounds so cool. I'm so happy to talk to you. How are you? I'm wonderful, Sue. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy that you're here. You know, I, I love that you bring a holistic approach to your business. So it's not just about, you know, um, business or relationships or health. It's like everything all together. And you have so many modalities to choose from depending on your clients that you're working with for their best needs. So I think that's great. And I really like the topic that you chose for your interview today, the three components to being a legacy of pure positive impact. Wow. All those words are so great. Um, I'm really excited for you and I want to hear more about that, but let's first talk about, um, you, you decided to become an author, a co-author in this book, Women Living on Purpose, that's coming out. Now, what led you to do that? Why did you decide to be a part of this? Well, Sue, I came to this book, I really feel like it's divine alignment in so many ways. Um, about three years ago, I found myself in a place where I was kind of caught in the middle. I call it the abyss. And in that process of being in this place, this abyss is like where you're kind of like, you're going from one place to another and you're just stuck in the middle. And through that empty space and being just stuck there, I had this tugging in my heart to do something like bigger and grander. And I really wanted to share my experiences as a coach my trials and tribulations and a lot of the experiences and experience with loss so that I could help other people connect at a higher level. And so when I'm there and I'm sitting at my dining room table and I just realized that here I am, I'm in this space and this was the perfect time to actually reinvent myself. So that led me to being an author in this book because I decided to go through a complete rebranding of my coaching. And through that, I am intentionally moving forward and living my life on purpose. I love that. You know, that's, that's what happens so often with people, I think. You know, it is a metamorphosis. It's this transformation that takes place when some new awareness comes about for you. So, so what was that for you? What, what changed that led you to, you know, change a little, change and transform your life a bit? Well, what I realized was I was going through so many things that I was seeing a lot of the other women in my life going through. And a lot of them were retiring or their kids had left the nest or they were raising and their elderly parents taking care of them. And that once their parents passed, they were stuck in this place where they just felt lost and were really just trying to figure out what's their purpose at this point and at this stage of the game. And I just had my big birthday in the last year. So I just turned 50. And, you know, that's a real milestone that te tells you, um, okay what do you want to do with the next 30 years of your life? 
And so that is the question that I asked myself. And that's the question that said, wow, here's a chance to raise my vibration. Here's a chance to step out and leave a legacy that is based on what I want to do and how I want to step forward and serve. So it was really a big epiphany and, um, but very energizing at the same time. Yeah. So it sounds like it was a reawakening to your passion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's through those questions like that, like the big questions, I think, you know, yes, turning 50 is something I turned 60 last year. And I remember turning 50. I also remember turning 40 and 30 and thinking, okay, these are all milestones, right? Because it is, it's whatever we decide is the milestone is what it is. So really, if somebody's listening right now, and they could be 44 years old or 33 years old or whatever age it is, and they can know that for themselves, that year could be the year that they decide to reignite their own passion. So when you talk about this, we're talking about reconnecting to your passion. What did you do to make that happen for yourself? What did you use to reconnect? So there's a few different things. I have three simple and powerful steps that I use to get myself started. And it's really about reconnecting to your passion, reigniting and recreating from that space, and then to recommit. And when I say recommit, it's just taking action, recommitting and being intentional. So when we talk about the book and the title of the book, women living on purpose that's intentional living and that's why i feel just divine alignment with everything that's going on yeah so let's talk about it let's delve into those three steps that you have reconnect let's start there with reconnect so reconnecting with your passion is really getting to that core why it's really getting to that fire in the belly like that place where it's just, there's that excitement and there's that fire and it's what really ignites you and fuels you to move forward. And at this point, it's really asking your, the question, what makes your soul sing? You know, where, where is that passion is? Where do you feel that in your body and to embrace and engage with that feeling? Uh, next, we are at uh, our reignite and to recreate. So reigniting the passion from that place, from that fire in that belly, and just being creative and having fun with it. Because one of the things that I've learned is that if it's not fun, it doesn't get done. And that's pretty much my motto at this stage of the game. So everything I do moving forward, um, even with my programs with my healing, the manifesting and flourishing. It's all about having fun as you go through all those processes. So just reignite and be creative with that passion. And last but not least is recommit. So that's that intentional commitment. It's asking yourself the question, what is the legacy that I want to leave and how can I live it now? I want to write my own celebration of life at the end. And I want it to be intentional and I want it to be amazing. And I want to know that I serve at the highest level. So those are the places you need to come from. That's where that fire in that belly is. And next thing you know, you end up just living yourself into that life. Hmm. Beautiful. So the three steps, reconnect, reignite and recommit. Now, the thing that I notice about these three words is that we're saying re. So what does that mean? Is this something that we already have in us? Is it something we did before? What do you mean by that? Well, absolutely. And you nailed it. It's, we have all of this in us right now. And what's happening for a lot of the women that I've come across with my circle, my clients, and even for myself, is that We've had it in it. We've had that desire. We've had that dream living inside of us. And we just have to reconnect with it. We have to bring it back up to the surface. And, and we have to visit it. And we have to see, 
is this the fire or maybe there's something else but it's important to reinvent our reinvent ourselves and connect with that passion yeah what if somebody says and you've worked with a lot of people what if they say look i i think that this is it but i'm not sure i think this is my passion but how do i know for sure if this is the thing i'm supposed to be doing is this my real passion is this my real purpose what do you say to them to help them mm. Well, that's where we really get into finding out what makes their soul sing. Hmm. And through the discovery method and just really sitting with that and taking that in, we go through a process of just rediscovering because sometimes we go down one path and other things open up for us. And so it's taking that exploration and it's going through that process. And what a lot of, for what it's been for me and through this whole process is the healing process. Um, what I've noticed is that a lot of us are just holding on. We've held on to things for so long. And when we go through the healing process, we actually set ourselves free. Mm. And when we set ourselves free, it allows us to step up and be our true authentic self. Yeah, beautiful. So that sounds like it's part of your signature process, your signature program, Heal, Manifest, and Flourish. So will you tell us some more about that? Sure. Uh, this program is very dear and near to my heart. It is everything that I have learned and trained and experienced. And I've worked with some amazing coaches and mentors and light workers over the years. And I've taken everything that I've learned and I put it into this program so that you get to experience and, and touch and grow and heal. And through that, we really come out with what is the message? What is our message and how do we share it? How do we serve? And so it's like, what is it that really resonates in your heart? And when you take that passion and what really resonates in your heart and you know you're doing it to serve and have a bigger impact, it you, all just falls together. Hmm. Beautiful. So, you know, let's get back to the, those words you just said and your title of this to how do you, how are you a, being a legacy a pure positive impact? Tell me, I mean, I have an idea of what I think this means for me, but what does it mean for you being a pure positive impact? What does that mean? So we all have a lot of experiences, right? Um, and what happens in a lot of our trials and tribulations and being in that space of, you know, hurt and pain and the things that we may have gone through in life, is that now we grow, we have the opportunity to heal from it. And then we have the opportunity to choose what it is we really want to invite into our lives. And that's really just getting super clear and opening yourself up to that manifesting part of the journey. And then we take that legacy and we, how, how are we impactful? How do we serve someone else? How do we bring joy into the world? How do we raise the vibration, right? You know, raise the vibration of the planet. We have the same motto going on there. Right, <laughs> and right. it's a beautiful thing, <laughs> the same motto. Um, and it's really about that journey. And so, and then the flourishing part of the journey is taking it, that fire in the belly, that passion and that connection and taking it to the next level to just have a really big impact in the world. And it's, yeah. it's a beautiful, beautiful process. And so being a legacy of pure positive impact is how I serve at the highest level. Hmm. I love that. So what if there's somebody out there right now listening to this and thinking, this sounds great. Yes, those three words, right? Heal, manifest, flourish. Great, I wanna do that. But maybe they're feeling a little stuck and they feel like maybe they're not even, you know, they're not there yet. But what would you say to somebody? What's the first step they can take to move forward in their own journey, to live on purpose and feel more positive in their life? 
Hmm. Well, ask yourself the question, what do I want the next 30 years of my, my life to look like? And what is the legacy that I want to leave now? And take it into that dream state. Take it, make it bigger, make that vision bigger and grander than anything else. And to really be almost childlike with it, to think like a child, experience like a child, you have the opportunity to create your scenario. You get to be whoever you want to be in that scenario. Um, who are you hanging out with? How do you want to feel ultimately? You're the creator. You are there and you are the co-creator in this dream. So here you are. And how do you want to present it to the world? How do you want to be and where and how does it resonate in your heart? Mm, I love that. Great question. I love questions just generally. I always say questions are my friend. So the more questions I have, the more curious I can be, the more clarity then I ended up end up getting in the process. So that's great. So so anybody listening, wow, what do you want to do for the next 30 years of your life? How do you want to show up? That's awesome questions. Great stuff, Michelle. Thank you. And I know that you have a gift for our listeners. Can you tell us what that gift is and how they can access that and also share with us? Um, I know there are people that will want to connect with you somehow. So can you tell us what that is too? Sure, absolutely. Well, you can hop over to my website and we just went through a beautiful rebranding and I have the most amazing gift for you. And it's the 15 ways, whoop, 15 ways to clear the path to joyful manifestation. <laughs> cool. um, it's a mouthful. It, it's a mouthful. And I tell you what, it's going to get your juices flowing. It is amazing. There are so many tips and exercises in there to really open up and clear the path. And you can reuse them over and over and over again. And you can reuse them in different aspects of your life too. It's really a powerful, powerful gift. Terrific. And where can they get that? And so you hop over to my website at healmanifestflourish.com. And that's heal, H-E-A-L, flourish, F, sorry, heal, H-E-A-L, manifest, M-A-N-I, F-E-S-T, flourish, F-L-O-U-R-I-S-H.com, healmanifestflourish.com. And while you're there, you can also go ahead and apply for a 30-minute strategy session on the website. So if you feel inclined, you also have that opportunity to do a complimentary strategy session. Beautiful. All right. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. That sounds like a wonderful gift. And you know, Michelle, I appreciate you so much. I really am so grateful that you um, decided to be a part of this project, that you shared your beautiful story in the book, Women Living on Purpose, and that um, you know, you're out there doing such great good in the world. Thanks for all of it. I appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for letting me share some of my pearls of wisdom. Awesome. And we'll use them. So thank you so much for that. And listeners, thank you, because I know you're on your own conscious journey. That's why you're here. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for stepping up because the world needs you to be you, authentically you in this world. So thanks for that. And be sure to buy the book on launch day, Women Living on Purpose. And it is available on June 29th. And what you'll do is go to our website, womenonpurposebook.com, womenonpurposebook.com. You'll be guided to Amazon to buy the book. Now, whether you buy the paperback book on launch day or whether you get a 99 cent Kindle book on launch day, you will still have access to all of the gifts from our authors and partners. So you just bring back your Amazon receipt number, plug it into our website and you will have access. And the gifts are great. You will love all of it. So give yourself that gift. It could cost you as little as 99 cents on buying that Kindle gift. So be sure to do that. And um, I really appreciate you listening to the summit. Keep giving yourself that gift as well, because there's so many pearls of wisdom here, just like Michelle shared with you today. So thanks, everybody, and have a beautiful day. Bye for now. Bye.